안녕하세요. 제 이름은 남입니다. Hi, it's Nami. Is it morning right now? And Mike is over because we're gonna bleach his hair. But first, our pizza that has fallen. R.I.P. Pizza. Look though, there's one that didn't touch the floor. Are you ready? Yes. You ready? Yes. Are you excited? I'm very excited. You're gonna look like an alien. Oh no. Because <laughs> you're gonna have like oil all over. Oh, uh, I've seen those. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know where to stop. Where do you want me to stop? Maybe like here, where it starts to get like long. Yeah. So that it's not like, I don't know. What should I do? <laughs> <laughs> what should I do? I have no clue. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that sounds good. Uh, I, but I <laughs> honestly have no idea. I'm gonna probably mix 40, because that's what I use for my roots. We don't want to go like all the way to the scalp because I kind of want to avoid touching your skin so that it doesn't hurt your skin. But I also don't want it to like look like a harsh line. So we're going to try to do like kind of a balayage fade into it. You know, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just nod along. Like, yeah, just, just nod. Just mm. nod and smile. And my Braun Brilliance High Level Lift. I mean High Express 9 Level Lift. So it's going to lift us higher than other bleach that don't have high level lift and 40 volume developer. We'll do one scoop of this. I hate this packaging, by the way, if I didn't mention it already. My instructions say a ratio of one to two, so I'm gonna put two of these. I like the smell of this, it smells like mango. Old packs number one, um, this is gonna help to reconstruct your hair while it's being lightened. So it's called a bond multiplier. So when your bonds are broken, then it'll multiply the bonds so that they get reconnected while the hair is like processing. And thoroughly mix it in. Can you lift your head? This? Yes. Because then you're uncomfortable. <laughs> Maybe we should... You're too tall! <laughs> Maybe... Smell? Oh, I have a stool. Hello. <laughs> oh, actually, that's a lot better. Oh my gosh, that's so good! <laughs> have you ever had a ponytail? Mm, not long enough, though. It's more like just the broccoli. <laughs> Ta-da! Yeah! So Mike is in first year of university, college. How is it? It's, a, it's a bit rough. It's rough. New. Yeah, he's also single. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use some foil and I'm gonna try to do like a balayage. Usually it's from the backup, but actually, should I do it from the backup? Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Mike. Bye. It's on your hair now. There's no turning back. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Commitment. Commitment. Is your mom excited? Yeah. <laughs> my mom is, my dad, not so much. But <laughs> How tall are you? Six foot. Oh really? Yes. Flat? Yeah, just flat. Mm. I'd like to lie and say I'm six foot one, but no. <laughs> not not quite there. Guys, I think I'm doing this backwards. It's so hard. <laughs> but his hair's so short at the back. I don't know where to start. Maybe I should have started like two thirds way down and then tell me if anything feels uncomfortable, okay? Except for the fact that there's foil over your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Hello Z. I can't see. Are you can't see, Mike? Yeah, I can see out of like, like the very corner of my vision. <laughs> so the foils will help like separate the sections because I'm gonna try to do like a fadey kind of thing. It also helps the heat from your scalp distribute properly throughout the ends of the hair so that everything develops evenly. Because if you don't use foil, sometimes it can come out blotchy because the, the heat will develop differently in different areas. I've never really used so much foil because I'm trying to do a balayage-ish like almost like highlights. I have to go like this mm -hmm. and kind of pick up this. It's like a zigzag section so that it looks like more distributed like a highlight. Mm. And then I refine that section and paint it lower so that it doesn't look as uniform. You know what I mean? So it looks like a fade. You know what I mean? 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's already coming out so nice. Yeah. I'm putting another layer 
<laughs> of um, bleach. And because I'm putting it wet on wet bleach, it's actually going to dilute the second developer to a level down. So I'm using the same 40 volume formula, but it's going to be diluted to a 40 and then wet on wet 30. So this way we don't have to go wash it and dry it. Wash it and dry it. It'll cause more damage if you wash it and then dry it if you're going to do it all in one sitting anyway. Yeah. But the best way that salons recommend is to wait like one or two weeks before doing the next process. But I find this is the easiest way mm -hmm. is to do wet on wet. And I actually learned this technique from Gai Tang Gai after Tang. someone mentioned it. So it's already looking so good, Michael. Look. That looks great. Oh. Isn't it like so even? The foils took double the time, but I think it's coming out really nicely. Look at Yay. all of these like a, a cake. I'm like stack of pancakes. Aluminum it looks good. pancakes. We'll wait like an hour just checking every so often to look at what the color looks like. I feel like it's good because we could kind of see the color too. Mmm. Oh, I really like it. <laughs> I'm excited. Ooh. Look at that. My dad would freak. <laughs> wow. It's like. Wow. <laughs> Are you looking at it? Yeah. It's like right in front of me. Wow. That's so nice. I'm going to shampoo his hair to ensure that all of the bleach is gone before we do Olaplex number two. Treatment. This one is the Fanola No Yellow Shampoo. I really love this shampoo. It's a purple shampoo, but um, it distributes really evenly and it does like a little bit of pre toning as well. Woohoo! Let's see what it looks like! Oh so my god! Oh, Super Saiyan! Wow, you're right. It is Super Saiyan. Oh my god. That looks so good. Oh my gosh, show my dad. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. <laughs> What a different kind of guy. I didn't expect it to be like this much, you know? Wow. Let's put toner on. Let's tone it, tone it, do it. I'm gonna use Wella Color Charm um, Permanent Toner for his hair. It's in T18. It's gonna cancel out the yellows. Oh, it's so stinky. Yeah. Mm. It's strong. It's like soy sauce it was mixed with. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. I can't see it, so I can't ooh. But I'm excited. Let's see the tone. Ooh. Ooh, beige. Mm. It turned more beige. It's not as yellow. It's not as yellow as it was before, yeah. Yeah. It's kind yeah. of coppery. Actually, not mm -hmm. copper. Um, like bronze. Almost like bronze. Instead of yellow. Yeah. He wants silver, but I think this is like the longest lasting silver that I have. Joyco Lumi Shine Repair Plus Cream in 9 Blue Ash Light Blonde. 20 volume again, developer. I'm gonna add a little bit of this Violet Intensifier color additive just to balance out some of the blue tones in the ash. Try to get it a little bit more silver. Cause I remember I used this blue ash blonde. It came out a little bit on the bluer side than silver. It was like a, a blue-ish silver. Isn't it weird how like it looks orange and white, but then when it goes on the hair and develops, it'll turn blue, silver, purplish. Yeah, I noticed about my other dye as well when I was dyeing my hair blue. Right. <laughs> Look, it's already changing. <gasps> it's already nice. kind of changing. Wow, look at that. It's like a mix uh, between silver and wow, It's exactly blueish. like what I was looking at like Maybe not that one. Yay. The silver with like a, a little bit of a little bit of blue. -ish. Let's see when it washes out. Um, Michael has to go, and Michael has to go. Both Michaels have to go. He's so gonna wash it when you get home. Mm -hmm. Put some Olaplex number two to recover any of the damage. I'll see you on Sunday, mm -hmm. and then we'll see how the color looks. He's gonna film a little reaction on so his own. So the quality might dip, so. No. Bye, Michael. Bye. Bye, Michael. Bye. Well, here we are. It's kinda hard to see in this light, but. I don't know if my camera can do it justice, but this is my hair now. So happy, so excited. Woo! <laughs> wow, look at that. There we go, it was me. 
So, how is it? it? It's really good. I really love it. I like it too. I feel like the fade was good. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not just like bam, so that when it grows out, it'll be black. Mm -hmm. But then even when we put the permanent color, it made your roots a little bit brownish too. Did you notice? Yeah, it made it a, Gosh, a bit brownish. Right where his um, hair meets his roots, it does like lighten a little bit before going black. And then even back here, it's like a little bit more brownish because of the BA, the beige ash blonde. With 20 volume developer, it kind of developed one and a half levels lighter. Mm. Yeah, I feel like it turned out good. Yay! Yay! I really love it. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Dad disapproves, uh, so it worked. Uh, <laughs> brother is still split, but oh really? Uh, mom really loves it. So. Oh, it's so cute. She sent me a picture. <laughs> His mom sent me a picture because she's like half my mom too. <laughs> if you want to see a Q and A with Mike, you can leave your questions here. <laughs> Bye. 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 You, look like, you just look like insane people. <laughs> we look crazy right now. This is the public.